Welcome to ViewTheRace.com. This is the Ashenfelter 8K Classic from Glen Ridge, New Jersey. This race has become a holiday tradition in Glen Ridge with over 2,500 runners taking to the streets before they begin their holiday festivities. The race starts on Ridgewood Avenue and starts with a long, slow, gradual uphill. So the first mile and a half of this course is just a long, gradual uphill right on Ridgewood Avenue. This course allows you to get into a good rhythm as there are a lot of long straightaways on this course. Very few turns. A little bit of rough road on Ridgewood Avenue as you head out, so just be aware of that. Now this race is named after Horace Ashenfelter, who is one of America's premier distance runners during the 1950s. Also winner of the 1952 Olympic gold medal in the 3000 meter steeplechase. And proceeds from this race go to support the Glen Ridge Educational Foundation. So start your holiday off right and support a great cause. At this point in the course, the road starts to kick down just a little bit. It starts to flatten out. Now stay the right side of the road as you're going to be taking a right onto Sunset Avenue. And then you're going to be taking the first right right onto Forest Avenue. Now as soon as you take this right on Forest Avenue, the road's going to go slightly downhill. You're going to have a nice little downhill stretch. Nice wide road to run on as you cross through mile two. Now the rest of this course is rolling, just slightly rolling hills. So you'll have to take advantage of the downs and just try to maintain your focus as you go up the slight inclines. Road starts to kick down just a bit again. Now running a road race on Thanksgiving Day morning is a tradition for many runners and their families. And I know later on the turkey and the desserts taste that much better knowing that you've already ran a road race that morning. Great festive atmosphere to this race and just a great way to start the holiday. Now as you continue down Forest Avenue, stay the right side of the road as you're going to pass through mile three and then you're going to take a quick right onto Osborne. Now as you take this right, the road's going to kick up quite a bit, but it's very short hill. And then you can take a quick left back onto Red Ridgewood. Now you really need to dig deep on this part of the course. It's going to be mentally challenging as you're going to have an, another long straightaway on Ridgewood and then you're actually going to run by the finish line. So that's always mentally tough, especially if you're in pain, to run by the finish line, but you know you're pretty close. A little bit of an uphill here. Just a slight incline. Now as we continue down Ridgewood, we're actually going to take a left and just do a quick loop through a neighborhood before returning to Ridgewood and then we can run to the finish line. So you take a quick left on Washington, cross through mile four, then we're gonna take a quick right and we're gonna loop around back to Ridgewood and then you can have a nice straightaway right to the finish. Now as you approach this final right on Maolis, there's going to be a tough uphill again. Another short tough uphill and then stay to the right as you're going to be taking a right right back onto Ridgewood. Now the road is just going to be slightly downhill for the remainder of the way as you head towards the finish line. Great race and a great way to start your Thanksgiving day. Thank you for viewing the race at viewtherace.com.